there is a new version of SCORE that comes with a nice utility that we're going to showcase in this video. Here I am inside of a Jupyter Notebook. I have just upgraded my version of SCORE and we can see here that I am using SCORE 0.7.1. Now for the setup, I import a dataset that I can use for a machine learning task. Here I am using the California housing dataset, which will allow me to perform a regression task about predicting house prices. I split my data into a train and test set. In practice, when we have a new data set, we don't just try out one single estimator or one single pipeline. Usually, we compare several estimators. So let us consider these four models for our house prediction task. This is a list of estimators and pipelines. So we have two linear models at the top, so a linear regression and a ridge regression, uh, along with some scaling. And also we have a random forest regressor and a histogram gradient boosting regressor. And we would like to compare all these different models as in a benchmark of estimators. So first we get a score estimator report for each one of these models. So we introduced the estimator report in a previous video. As a reminder, it automatically computes some useful metrics for you. So here I am looping over my several estimators that I defined previously. And I feed it also all my input data. Okay, so all of this corresponds to one uh, estimator report. So now let us look into our new feature, the comparison report. So now we import a comparison report and we feed it a list of estimator reports that we defined previously. As for the estimator report and the cross-validation report, we have a helper. So this helper shows you what you can do with this comparator. For example, we can see that we have access to some metrics and here we're going to be interested in the report metrics. So now I call my report metrics and we can see that we have as an output a pandas data frame that is the following. So we can see that we have our four estimators, each of one as a column. And here we have as index some metrics. So the R squared and the root mean squared error. So as a recall, this is a score and this is an error. So we can see that the histogram boosting regressor seems to be the one that is performing the best. So this is the benchmark of our metrics with regards to the score. And we can also have access to some plots, for example, here the uh, prediction error. So this was a quick overview of the comparison report. Make sure to check out our GitHub repository and our documentation.